Bubble, 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 but wow. I'm telling you, it's gonna be like this every week with every new episode with these pathetic waste of life westerners, these fans in quotations that hate anime, that hate women, that hate femininity, the female body, they hate breasts, and it's sad to see men act like this too. More so than when they say they hate breasts and they hate femininity and women looking like women, it's more sad when they say they're not really offended, but when they say they're scared, they're frightened, they're overwhelmed by it, and they're sh they, they shake in the corner because of it. How pathetic of and a waste of life remember people before we start all these people they have no one that loves them they don't love themselves that's basically it so remember that be happy that you're not among these small few wastes of breath so more outrage for my hair academia oh boy again i'm glad i'm not a fan of this series but i'm starting to support it more and more <laughs> a select few outraged outraged by hero academia's tickle scene Heaven forbid tickling these weird Twitter users of you know, basically the uh, useless, no one loves them, you know, mistake. You know, whether you believe in God or evolution, they were a mistake and probably should not be here because <laughs> they're such wastes of everything. With nothing better to do than complain about what they consider problematic. You know, once again, targeting Boku no Hero. The second episode, we're only on the second episode, <laughs> featured a new female character. A new female character being tickled against her will. Oh, heavens. The second episode of the newly debuted fourth season and a scene involving hair and bubble girl. Bubble, 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 butt. I mean, she's got nice titties. Probably a bubbly butt. You know, so good coloring, sexy outfit, so no problems here. Except for people offended by sexy females. But again, these same people are okay with shipping underage boys having sex. And in real life, these people are, majority of the time, actual pedophiles and sexual creeps that should not be near children children or anybody that's why they have no one that's why they have time to do this think about it <laughs> these people aren't fans they're purposely trying to destroy and ruin anime because they can't control it they're just wasting their time poor bubble girl ends up being forced into a tickle machine against her will oh no a fun little torture device a tickling thing it was kind of silly and funny you know people get tickled right and then again it's a device that's you know meant to like ah we're gonna tickle you they do this all the time we find ways to get you to talk and then they pull out a feather and tickle people how many times have you seen that in cartoons in general no one's upset about those it's been in like stuff like spongebob and crap dear god people but it's because this is a female and it's anime that's why this can this same scene could be done in steven universe or any other cal art style garbage and they'll be fine with it again these people will go after this just like the child porn but then you have stuff like big mouth where they have underage people doing disgusting filthy degenerate stuff and it's praised so that big mouth is actual pedophilia child pornography anime is not let's continue <laughs> and again th there's a lot of anime of people tickling and then again the whole tickling against one dwell does anyone ever ask to be tickled is that usually how it works and do people usually ask like oh i'm sorry may i tickle you <laughs> that doesn't happen like a buddy of mine was saying it's like when kids are tickling each other or tickling you hey papa hey uncle or something having fun they don't ask and then you you know obviously if you know them you would you know <laughs> now if you went to some random kid then yeah but anime fans wouldn't do that it's these people who complain about this they would probably go after kids in the park and try and touch them if they could i guarantee it bunch of sickos need to stay away from people and lo and, be, lo and behold here's the few people who are creeped out and uncomfortable inappropriate outfit i mean it's all the same people and i bet you again check their bios check their pronouns check their ages and check about how they're depressing and and they're depressed and then they hate themselves and they wish they were you know that's always the same thing these people have nothing to live for basically so this is all they got anime spoilers did the scene with the night eye and bubble girl make anyone else super uncomfortable or was it just me it's just you freaking freak i skipped it because the manga was weird enough to be honest you made the right choice uh so there are a few people that are also re tar yeah <laughs> how what what a life it is these people have no one that loves them they, i don't know why they spend all their time maybe if you spent less time on the internet and did something with your life i don't know sad people and then everyone ridicules you the majority of people are laughing at you and partaking in yeah you guys are a waste of life and they know it they're a waste of life anything to try and get some attention for their sad existence <laughs> <laughs> I was barely able to keep watching the scene. That's just messed up, and it didn't need to be in there. Right? It did not. It was so odd. Like, was there any 
reason for it than the fan service. And Bubble Girl was a fan, OC chosen, blah, blah, blah. They really have to make her costume like that. I didn't like it at all. Guy hates women. This person hates women, hates the female body. Wants all women to be covered up and shamed. It's what this person does. Yeah, Bubble Girl is kind of still pretty in my book. That seems very uncomfortable, fan service. Disappointing. What is uncomfortable about it? There's nothing uncomfortable about it. It's a girl getting tickled, and she's laughing and crying and laughing because she's tickled. And she has big boobies and a fit body. They can't all be ugly land whales like you people want. Like you people who hate your cells, hate your bodies. Not everyone has to be, you know, ugly and stuff like you guys. Most people like themselves. You guys don't. That's your problem. <laughs> I mean, look at all these. Oh my god, I thought it was the only one who was uncomfy. Nope. Just a very select few of re... <laughs> It was so weird and uncomfortable. How can people be uncomfortable watching this stuff? It is normal anime to satisfy the sexual taste of some people. Is a minor. It's like, see, there we go. People are idiots. Meanwhile, these people do nothing about real stuff. And they probably diddle little kids. I guarantee it. I bet you they all do it. <laughs> Disturbing. This is a weird... Someone getting tickled is weird? You guys have to... You guys haven't seen anime before, have you? You guys haven't seen a lot of things before. No wonder. You guys probably don't see anything besides the glowing screens on your phones or laptops and computers and your parents' homes in your parents' basements. Every one of you. This is some sad stuff. Yes, I effing hated it. Well, guess what? You're in the very, very freak show minority, and it's here to stay. More tickling, more boobies in My Hero Academia. Give all those underage anime girls more stuff. Start showing their nipples and their pussies and stuff like that. Come on, anime, let's let's show these. For every time you do this, stick it to these losers. Could they cry some more of their sad, pathetic existence? What are your thoughts on this? Is it gonna be like this every week? Yep, that's because the West is, you know, Twitter tards, basically, as this person says. Uncomfortable by the female body and uncomfortable by tickling. <sighs> I mean, it's an OC, a fan-made thing. It is pretty neat that someone got to do that, and then the Westerners can't appreciate some person getting to create their own fan art, their own original character, them allowing to put it into the series like this, into the manga, into the anime, and you losers who can't even have no talent whatsoever to even do something like this are crapping upon someone who created something, and then these guys are nice enough to put into the series. And again, Bubble Girl apparently is in her 20s, so what the heck was the people with the underage stuff? Are you people that freaking stupid? And of of course, here's a lot of people. BKDK Stan, shipping two of the boy characters. Kirishima Stan, shipping two characters. Kirishima Stan, 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 Stan and all the boys. There's artwork of them taking a bubble back together as young kids. Him as a kid holding them as young things. Them in furry mix-ups. It's all these same people bitching about it because it's a girl and they can't stand because I'm going to go on a limb here again too and add one thing. Yell at me all you want, but it's always these same people that are into this stuff, this certain community that always go after the female stuff because they're going against femininity just saying keep it happening ding 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 ding